Exciting news, the high caliber weapon pack and the pistol packing update are now out. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and the day we have all been waiting for is finally here. The high caliber weapon pack is now out on all three platforms and today we're gonna go through all of the patch notes so that you guys know exactly what is included in today's update. Now guys, let me know in the comments what you are most excited for in today's update and what you think of the new high caliber weapon pack. I am personally super in love with the new 300 AR. Oh my gosh. It is amazing. Now, also somewhere in the video, guys, I am going to share a key phrase. Drop that in the comments for your chance to hunt with Lady in a video. Now, if you are on console, then it would be a voice chat that will also be included in a video and we're going to head straight into it. So, the high caliber weapon pack includes the Arzina 300 Mag Tactical, which is good for classes 7 to 9. I never thought there would ever be a practical weapon that would be stronger than the 300 Magnum, but I was wrong. We now have the 300 AR, and oh my gosh, as I mentioned before, it is crazy powerful, but what's most amazing about it is that it almost has no recoil, and it can even sometimes double long a moose, something that the 338 and the 300 struggle to do. Also included is the 4570 Jernberg Superior. The Jernberg is good for class is four all the way up to nine. It only has one shot and it is super light. It weighs only one kilogram. Then we have the Strandberg 10 SA Executive, the 10 gauge, which has four shots. So it's very sweet to now have a shotgun competitor to compete with the Cacciatore shotgun. Also included are five new cosmetics. Here they are on the screen here. So that is what's included in the high caliber weapon pack. And I understand it is around $5 and I think that is US. Also available today is the Emerald Coast Cosmetic Pack. This premium pack includes a collection of fresh new weapon paints, sprays, camos materials, and a special premium wrap, all inspired by the stunning beauty of the Emerald Coast Australia Reserve available on all platforms for $2.99. Say hello to Robbo the Roo. EW has partnered with Makeship to bring this silly little kangaroo from Emerald Coast to life. So you can actually visit the Makeship's website for more information and to purchase the new Robbo the Roo plushie. So this is our new Call the Wild mascot. And now we're gonna dive into the patch notes. New features, improvements, and updates. We've speeded up the reloading animations for all revolvers by adding speed loaders to the game. The change affects all of the revolvers in the game which could utilize speed loaders. It excludes the 45 Rolston for obvious reasons because it has its own very special reload animation that they definitely do not want to change. This is gonna save us huge time before this update when you for example used to use the rhino handgun say you were to take two shots and then reload what it would actually do is unload the other three bullets and then load all five shots one by one which took a very long time now with the speed loaders you could actually reload in like three seconds it's crazy fast so that is very sweet binoculars and range finders can now be customized by applying cosmetics to them so that's very cool Cool. The Picasso 357 has been visually reworked from scratch, so this is what it looks like. Double action revolvers now function realistically, cocking when aimed for single action firing, but also allowing for rapid double action shooting without waiting for the hammer to be cocked. The affected revolvers are the Rhino 454, the Sunberg 454, and the Mangia Fico 410-45 Colt on its three variations. Also included in today's update, EW has standardized the animal classes and in doing so they've shipped some animals around to make the experience more consistent and predictable. So here is the chart. 18 animals in all have had a change of class. I'm not going to read every single one out to you but if you would like to take an image or a screenshot those are all 18 of them there. Most of them have changed by just one class rating but some have changed quite a bit like Gemsbok for example have changed from class 8 to class 6 so we can no longer use the 300 or the 3 38 on Gamsbach. Some of these you might love, some of them you might not like so much, but they are designed to make the game more realistic. I personally am very excited about alligators changing from class 6 to class 7 because now I can use the 300 AR on gators. So that is very sweet. Now the one class change I was hoping to see was red deer changing from class 6 to class 7 so that we can use the 300 AR. That has not changed, but if it is something that you would like to see changed, definitely let me know in 
in the comments below. And maybe it's something we can see changed down the road. You just never know. Due to the animal class changes, we've also updated general class icons as well. We have now a new icon for class four white-tailed deer. The class four boar has been changed to class five. Wolf is now the new class six. The old icon for class six reindeer is no longer present. We've updated the black bear's drinking schedule. This is probably the most popular change in today's update. They will now look for water in the early morning rather than in the middle of the night. Their new drink time is from four to eight, but there is a catch. In order to get your black bears to the morning drink time, when you first go into your game, they will be drinking in their previous drink time, which was from 20 to zero. So you'll need to change the time to the evening drink time for black bear. And when you shoot each bear, that bear will respawn into the morning drink time. So basically you need to cycle through and shoot all of your black bears in order for them to jump to the morning drink time. Now, the reason EW is doing this is so that they did not have to do a pop reset because a lot of people are right in the middle of black bear grinds and we're not super fond of pop resets when we are in the middle of a grind because that's a lot of progress just gone. So they were trying to avoid that. If this does not work out, it was mentioned during one of the EW live streams that next update, they will do a pop reset if that is necessary. PC players can now use a new option in the multiplayer menu to show or hide hosted games that have no available spots by toggling show full host button. There is now a button for PC and PlayStation players to manually refresh the multiplayer host list. Players will now be informed of what knocked them out when respawning. We've updated the weight for all of the tritium sites. Before these scopes weighed 0.5 kilograms, now they don't weigh anything. <laughs> Developers note, now there is no excuse not to have your tritium sites in your pocket. Ground blinds and bigger hunting structures can now hold two players in multiplayer. That is a very cool change. I like that. Store images for binoculars and range finders have been updated and they look very cool. We've added a codex entry for hide all animal clues. An option to show or hide the button prompts has been added. It can be found under settings, interface, and HUD. Quote unquote spray, customizable item from both the New Year 2024 event and the Lunar New Year 2024 event were originally missing. Users who claimed those customization packs when they were available should have these customization items automatically added to their available customization items. Two new spray cosmetics will be available for players who claimed the New Year's 2024 and the Lunar New Year 2024 cosmetic packs during the events available in January and February. It says that a pesky bug held back the sprays from unlocking before, but after patching up the game, they're good to go. Players who claimed the New Year's pack will now get access to the New Year Sky Spray, and those who unlocked content from the Lunar New Year pack will get the Lunar New Year Paint Brush Spray. Okay, bug fixes. Here we go. We've addressed an issue that caused a number of weapons to not shoot accurately. This affected several scopes, and depending on the weapon that was equipped, the misalignment was different. So this is supposed to make all of our shots register exactly where we aim. Of course, depending on our zeroing, but they are supposed to be way more accurate, so that is very exciting. We've fixed an issue with the Grelic drilling rifle where switching between shotgun ammo changed the iron sight to the rifle sight. Driving into a dog at full speed will no longer make the ATV fly and flip. Aw man, that's no fun. <laughs> it says, please be nice to your hunting dogs and leave the ATV stunts to the professionals. Active scent eliminators will now properly expire if the player sleeps for longer than they have left on their duration. The default zeroing on the Anderson handguns, i.e. when not using the zeroing perk, has been set to 50 meters similar to other weapons. The Rolston and the Cuomo handguns will now correctly automatically reload after being hip fired. Firing a shot with the Sarugi and then switching to another weapon will now cause the new weapon to correctly show up instead of the Sarugi. An issue with zeroing at max range with the 223 and the 270 rifles has been fixed. We've addressed an issue when the player would become unable to swap ammo and scopes in the weapon wheel after doing it often in a single play session. Changing scopes on the Grelic drilling rifle from the weapon wheel and then choosing a different item to use will not stop the new item from being equipped anymore. We've realigned the Grelic drilling rifle iron sight and scope to fix an additional accuracy issue. We've fixed an accuracy issue with the Grelic drilling rifle when zeroed at 100 and 150 meters. We've adjusted the threat generated by the retriever dog while retrieving. Players can finally 
my pet, the retriever dog in the Leighton Lake Trophy Cabin. We fixed an issue with the bloodhound where it would move extremely slowly after interacting with a blood clue. Now the correct ATV will spawn when using the keyboard. Bobcat and Mexican Bobcat have had their weights adjusted to be more accurate from 6.4 to 18 kilograms. We've resolved a problem where Harvest could not be picked up by any player if someone left and came back to a multiplayer session with Honoring On. Old trophies collected before the scoring update in 2020 will now display the medal that they had at the time of Harvest again rather than the medal that they would have been given using the new scoring system. So that's a good thing. Now under multiplayer, the headlamp light beam when seen in third person by another player has been properly adjusted to align with the user's head. Players on the Windows Store version of the game should be able to use text chat to communicate with each other again if they have the appropriate communications privileges set on their accounts. Under missions, new mission available pop-up should now only appear when the new missions are available. The make a difference quest in the New England Mountains Reserve can now be completed again. Under world, the plane in the Yukon Valley intro cinematic will work as expected again. We fixed an issue with Basri Memorial and Crimson Ridge Outpost in Yukon Valley not unlocking properly. It will no longer rain forever in any reserve if you leave Te Aoroa during the toxicology report mission. I know that was a problem for a lot of people, so that is awesome. Under UI, selecting reset camera position in the weapon customization will now reset the camera properly. The correct scent eliminator icon will now appear when selecting it with a controller. Apex Connect game invites notification now expires. We've added a warning message when changing the key bindings. Correct icons now appear for decoys when selecting them with a controller. Scrolling through the multiplayer competition list should now be smoother with the scroll bar. The option to rename a trophy lodge is no longer accidentally present on the friends trophy lodges menu. Buttons will no longer stay highlighted when exploring the settings menu. If the last menu visited was the trophy manager, pressing escape will no longer lead to the inventory. The competition list description will now be shown correctly after scrolling down in the list using a controller. We fixed a navigation issue with selecting mission items in the codex while using a controller. The text field for renaming a loadout can now be focused on while using a controller. We fixed font scaling issues with the fur type column in the trophy manager. That's awesome because it was a little bit on the tiny side. The highlight lines when inspecting a multi-trophy have been fixed. We've addressed an issue where players could retire a dog in the wrong kennel screen. The buy DLC button no longer overlaps with the descriptions of the reserves in languages other than English. It should now be easier to navigate through the EULA and privacy policy screens. We fixed a localization issue in Portuguese where the controller buttons overlap with the text prompt of the trophy lodge menu. Players should no longer become stuck in the apex menu if they change from controller to mouse and keyboard while navigating the privacy policy. We've resolved a problem with highlighting items when moving through the inventory menu using a controller. We fixed an issue where the apex friend notifications did not automatically appear. Now under graphics, we fixed a rendering issue that caused animals placed as multi-trophies to disappear from view on the edge of the camera. A twitching motion on trees in the New England Mountains Reserve while having the tree stand equipped is no longer present. Weapon models shown in the store and storage menus should be back to the appropriately high level of detail. Under art, the animal in the harvest screen will no longer slowly shrink while rotating. Under animation, the dog should be less likely to rotate its head unnaturally while looking at the player. The retriever has learned to close its mouth properly when fetching arrows. Picking up the Quist Red Pro electronic collar should now be smoother. Unspent rounds should no longer be mysteriously visible in the 270 rifles while chambering and reloading. An idle animation while using handguns and multiplayer has been fixed. We fixed an animation where players switch between binoculars and rangefinders in multiplayer. Weapons will no longer disappear when holstering and changing to another weapon. We've updated the layout blind animation for multiplayer so that the character should look correct while using it. The 44 revolver hammer is now pulled back correctly when shooting from the hip. We fixed the hand animation when auto walking with the electronic 
collar equipped. In multiplayer, you can now see the ammunition in the reloading animation when other players reload their weapons. We fixed the 44 Marathi reloading animation when having lightning hands, perk 2 and 3. We've fixed the holstering animation of the electronic collar in multiplayer. We've addressed an issue with missing animation when reloading and switching position to prone with the Sarugi LRR equipped. Fingers should no longer clip with the Marathi model 1894 in different positions. Hands should no longer clip with the crossbow in a prone position in multiplayer. We fixed a head shaking animation when aiming on a tripod in multiplayer. We've addressed an animation issue when aiming with, with the long bow and moving while crouching in multiplayer. We fixed an arm animation when standing up from prone with the hunter made equipped in multiplayer. We fixed the reload animation for the Olsen model 23, 308 and Malmer 7mm Magnum when the player has two or three ranks of the lightning hands perk. Arrows should now be visible for other players in multiplayer. The Coachmate Lever 4570 now has its proper animation while shooting it with the muscle memory perk active. The Mangia Fico revolver no longer disappears after shooting from the hip. The Labrador will now perform the howling animation when it is raining. We fixed an animation issue where the weapon stayed in the ground if the player aimed while prone and then stood up. We fixed the upholster animation for the Rolston revolver in multiplayer. Arrows are now in sync with the hand when pulling back the string in multiplayer. The character will keep looking forward while aiming and shooting the Devani in multiplayer. We fixed an animation in multiplayer where the character's head movement while aiming and switching stances from standing to prone and back was incorrect. Changing the sight of the bow while aiming will no longer reset the string. Now under audio, the flapping sound for the goose has been redesigned. It should now be softer and fade better over distance. We fixed the SFX corruption when selecting the camo tab in the weapon customization. The Stenberg Modern Takedown Recurve Bow now plays the correct sound when holstering and unholstering it in multiplayer. The Distress Deer Call used for calling grizzly bears in the electronic collar is now an actual distress call. They fixed some issues with the flag sounds effects at outposts. The tire swing in Mississippi will no longer sound metallic when pushed and the electronic collar will now play the proper sound for mountain lions. And that is it for the patch notes. That was quite a lot. I hope you are really enjoying today's update and the new weapon pack. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, click right here to learn all about the brand new black bear grind after the update.